All right, quite possibly one of the coolest squash I've ever grown is the Zucchino Rapicante. It's an incredibly productive plant with absolute humongous fruit. This one's over 48 inches tall long. Lots of them. See, look how big each of these are. That one's almost the same size. That one's bending funny. I have another one over here. And these are fully mature, like winter squash. See how they have the yellow skin? But if we come over here, see how big they're getting. All of these small ones are coming from the same plant. Look how productive that is. Tons of them down there. These at this size, you eat them like a summer squash. You eat these like a zucchini and they're delicious. Pick them up to about two feet long. So these are all still really good to eat as summer squash. These are the ones I'm gonna harvest today. These one, two, three big winter squash because they are the ones who have got the nice tough rind. My fingernail doesn't leave a, a major dent in there. They've turned this yellow oh, orange color. They're ready to go. So let's do it. This one is just so cool. It's just sitting here in the middle of this arbor of this trellis I built a few years ago. Just kind of swinging. It's the coolest thing. We had my little daughter, my daughter's fifth birthday party three, four weeks ago. Everybody got a kick out of it. The kids kind of swung it and it still lived. It still managed through all of that. So I'm glad that I get to be the one to cut it down. Oh man, that is heavy. Oh yeah, and that stem was dry. Oh, oh my God. This is 20, 20 pounds. I mean, I'll go weigh it for you. This is 20 or 25 pounds. This is so big. Look how big this is. So big and long and hard. That's what she said. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's pick the rest of these. Oh. And see, they get this really cool shape depending on just how gravity treats them or what's in their way. So that first one was pretty straight because there was nothing in its way. This one has a few little turns because there's a few more obstacles. <laughs> and look at that one, it looks like a saxophone. So I'm harvesting just these three humongous Zucchino Rapacante. Hopefully you can see the beautiful color, their orange color. And again, as opposed to eating them much, much younger like this one. In fact, I will pick one of those just to show you the difference. We can have this one with dinner tonight. So this one is the same exact plant from literally one vine that's growing all of this. One vine. This one we're gonna eat tonight as a fresh zucchini. Now these are drier and a little bit more firm than a traditional zucchini, but they're very flavorful. They have a nutty flavor. I've actually never had a, a fully ripe one. We've had a bunch of this size ones. So I'm excited to try those. All right, the best way I can think of weighing these humongous squash is with fishing scale and a large trash bag. So I'm gonna go smallest, but I think is smallest to biggest. So first, the saxophone. A little over eight pounds. So not as big as I thought it was gonna be, but that's still pretty cool, a little over eight pounds. Now the one that had the second most cr crink in its neck. A little bit more, but not much. Eight and a quarter, 8.24. I'm just gonna round it up to eight and a quarter because the other one was over by that much. So eight pounds, eight and a quarter pounds. Now the biggest one that was hanging down the middle. I clearly overestimated when I said 20 pounds, but maybe this one will reach 10. Oh yeah, it is, it's over 10. Ten and a quarter. Cool. Eight. Eight and a quarter. Ten and a quarter. Sixteen. Twenty-six pounds of squash. Twenty-six and a half pounds of squash for three, <laughs> three massive <laughs> zucchini rapicante. I think I'm gonna have to eat one and give the others gifts.
This was a very prolific plant. The fruit, as small, are delicious. We've already had them. Uh, perfect to grill. The big ones, I'm gonna treat more like a butternut squash. I'm gonna cut off the bottom, discard it, because that's where the seeds are, and apparently the seeds are unedible. The rest of it, I'm gonna roast. I can make soup, I can make purees. Um, and again, I read one recipe where they put it on a mandolin, sliced it thin, and fried it like um, potato chips. So I'm gonna try some of it. I mean, this part is the right kind of diameter um, circumference for, or, you know, the right size for a potato chip. So I think I'm gonna do that with some of it. Cool. Lots of food for your family. Grow the zucchini graficante.